Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first Map Booster production. Okay, so today we're going to discuss our top five apps. So the number five is Camouflage. It's not very well known, uh, but it is quite clever in that, uh, as you can see, I've got my icon showing here, it looks a bit scruffy. So I'll press this top about camouflage and that, hide icons. There we go. Now I don't know why the Mac Booster logo, is, as you can see it comes forward and back, it never usually does that, but there we go, it looks a lot cleaner without all those items on. Okay, so next. And number four is Audion. Okay, it sits in your uh, dock if you choose it to, and it basically combines MSN, your Facebook contacts, all that into one simple instant messaging service, which is really good. It's got a good interface and all that, so. Uh, the only thing that's slightly annoying is the uh, noise it makes when someone signs in, but you know it's not that bad. Um, then at number three is iFreeno, right? Now this is this thing up here. It usually costs twenty dollars or so, but I know we're getting it free, so I'll post that video soon. Um, now, basically, this is my RAM. I've got three point seven five gigabytes and I've got 1,293.37 megabytes full. So, I mean, I've got quite a lot of things open, like After Effects. Um, so if I press Optimize Memory, then it should give me more free RAM. Now, I've only just done this, so it may not, but let's see. It goes through this, and you'll notice it drops 8.22 megabytes. It's still dropping, but then it will suddenly rise again. It takes a while, you just need to be patient with this because once it's done and it's gained you more free RAM, it is a lot quicker. Right, so 1664. So I'm not sure, clear, I can't even remember what I had before, but I think that's more. And then at number two is ScreenFlow. Now, without ScreenFlow, half of the videos on YouTube wouldn't exist because that's how they record the screen. This is how I'm recording it right now. So I can't really show you it as I'm recording using it, but it's a really good app. Right, and number one, it has to be Spotify. It's free, although at the moment in the UK, I know you need an invite. If you can get one, I don't know, but if you do, it's really good. You load it up, you've got your top lists, uh, you've got your black eyed peas, you've got all your main things. Now you think, oh, they won't have the latest titles, but they do. Take a while to load because I'm quite I've got quite a few things open. So latest songs. Let's turn the volume up. So there we go. It's got all the latest songs, all their songs. Look at all this. All for you to listen and stream it for free. You can't download it, but when it's free, you can't really complain. Now the only thing is, is you have an advert every uh, four tracks or something, it's something like that. But you can always pay £10 a month to have it advert free and have it available offline on your iPhone as well. Now, there's, just to prove there's loads of songs on this, like every song in the world, but not really, but pretty much is. MGMT Kids, let's say. If you go to it, uh, click on MGMT just to show how much they're listening here. Got their top hits. Um, that was number one. And oops. And there we go. So, thank you for listening to my top five apps from Mac Booster. And also, we have recently launched a website. Okay, it's not too good at the moment because I've only just launched it, but here it is. Uh, Hope. Mac Booster, there we go, it's got all the things, latest news, and then this is what I've been talking about, the definitive app list for Mac, then you'll see all the things I've mentioned in the video uh, with a download link on them, so please visit that, it's http colon forward slash forward slash macbooster.tk, I'll put a link in the description to make it easier, thank you, please comment, rate and subscribe.